Uh, Jermaine, with all the additions that the Bears uh, got on offense, what excites you the most about going against them uh, in training? Yeah, you know, I'm a big fan. Um, you know, when you play good on good versus one another, man, that brings out the best in everybody. Uh, so just having the, you know, the players to the skill level that we have, offense and defense, you know, each day at practice, man, it's going to feel like a game. And uh, that's what you want. Like, you want when you want to be the best, you got to go against the best. And uh, just having that competition level day in and day out, you have no choice but to get better. And that's what you want. Like, being in this league, you know, to be one of the teams, to be one of the top teams, you have to practice that way. And by default, you know, when you have guys out there on the field that get that participate in a high level, that's ultimately going to bring out the competitive nature in everybody. So uh, it's going to be fun. It's been fun. You know, like I said, it's not our first time. OTAs was fun. Mini camp was fun, man. So we got a feeling of what that felt like. And, um, you know, just seeing everybody out there having fun, I think that's the number one thing. And, you know, competing at a high level day in and day out, uh, that's what you live for. That's what you wake up and want to do day in and day out. Jermaine, when you, when you signed when you signed here, the Bears had just gone 3-14, and 14, both of you guys. Uh, and now there are expectations because of kind of the roster building that's been done. What Does that make for a different feeling as you report to camp here that – that, you know, there are some places in which you're favored to make the playoffs. Yeah, you know, to be honest, man, I learned a long time ago, like, you never really, you know, worry about things that you can't control. And, uh, you know, the things that we can control, man, is how we work day in and day out, um, you know, showing up for our brothers, um, just holding each other accountable. You know, everything on the outside, as far as that, is going to take care of itself. You know what I mean? You put your focus on being your best every day, and that's individually. You know what I mean? Holding yourself to a high regards. And, you know, holding your brother to a high regards and, you know, everything else is going to take care of itself. You know, obviously you walk in with that confidence that you're supposed to be here. It's no shock to nobody. You know what I mean? Like we have that belief and, um, you know, just having that belief and showing up with that confidence day in and day out. Like you're going to feel that energy and that energy is going to change. You know what I mean? Like everybody on our team are healers, man. Healer, healing means a transfer of energy. So, you know, when we communicate with one another. And, you know, we take the field and, you know, we go to meetings and go to practice, all that other type of stuff. Like, you're going to feel that from your brother. And, like, that's when you know you have a good team. It's not just one man, like, oh, I got to carry the weight. Like, nah, it's like we we depend on one another and we lean on one another because it's going to be ups, it's going to be downs. Like, that's the lead. You know what I mean? Like, I've been in it long enough to even know what it looks like on paper. Like, you're going to go through adversity. But, you know, I think the good thing is, you know, experience is the number one teaching. And, you know, as of last year, obviously that was a lot of our first time. Like, we know what that feels like. Like, we know what it feels like to be at the bottom. We know what it feels like to have success. So it's really like taking those experiences, taking those lessons, and bringing it on this year. But, um, you know, definitely exciting. And uh, like I said, man, we're definitely confident. And, you know, we know what we have. Now it's just time to go work. DJ, defensively, you guys obviously have your own growth process to tend to throughout training camp. But what do you kind of view as – your piece of the responsibility of, of both challenging Caleb and, and helping him to come along through, through July, August? Yeah, I mean, to me, it's not really, you know, I think in general, I think our biggest thing that we can do at practice is challenge everyone, you know, challenge each other, because that's how, um, what Maine was saying, that's how we're going to get better, that's how we're going to get to where we want to get to, but um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just excited to get out there, you know, even just walking in the building and, and seeing everybody and, um, you know, kind of that energy building up, but the practice field is, is where it's at. So that's, that's where the, where the magic happens. So getting out there and working out all the kinks and then, and then getting to it. Cause you know, the best competition we have is, is our offense and we're, we're excited for it. So, um, we're going to get out there and, and compete because that's what we do. Tremaine, with how important the three technique position is to a linebacker's job, what will you need to see from Jervon as he tries to take that role over to know that that spot is short up now that Justin's gone? Yeah, well, I think for one, you know, I said it in a laughing way, but just seeing the work that he's put in, like just his physical stature and just, you know, his built, um, you know, speaks measures just as far as like the work that he's put in. Um, you know, I saw it. Even last year when he first came in as a rookie, I mean, he works extremely hard. You know what I mean? Obviously, he got drafted at, he got drafted high, but at the same time, you can tell like it's a chip on his shoulder. And uh, <clears throat> just seeing him take that next step, uh, being dominant like we know he could be. You know, obviously, he was dominant last year. Let's just call it what it is. But even taking that step, you know, for this year, um, you know, guys like him, even even Zach, like you said, uh, you know, we have a great group. You know what I mean? And you know, I know all those guys feed off one another. You know what I mean? The way that they practice, like Dex, to be so big, he's always one of the first ones to the ball running out of the stack. And that doesn't go unnoticed. Like, everybody in the meeting room sees it. And um, like I said, his work speaks for itself, and it's going to translate over to the field. Who, who on this team is most likely to be the star of Hard Knocks? 
<laughs> get out into my guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let him answer yeah, that question. Right. Oh, yeah, no. Appreciate that. <laughs> no, I got no idea. I think uh, you know D Walk is always a, a high contender for that. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I don't know. We got some characters on this team, so it'll be fun. You know, for people to see their you know their true personalities, and I think um, you know us just going out there through the grind of camp and, and seeing the guys who you know still keep that energy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun for sure. Does it change anything for you guys? Seriously, is that I mean, is that not really? I mean, it's you know we're here for for a job and we're here to. Um, to get better every single day, but also, you know, enjoy our, our time here and um, work as hard as we possibly can to get to where we want to get to. But, um, you know, to kind of give people an insight on what's going on, you know, I think it's I think it's cool. You both have been on teams that weren't playoff games the next year. They, they made the playoffs, went on from there. Like, what will you be looking for or trying to just put on the team to get to that level to make that jump? Yeah, I think it's just the, like, for one, the sacrifice, and for one, and for two, the, the work. Um, you know, I think anytime you have success, no matter what business you're in, like, you can't get around the work. Like, there's no shortcuts to get to a certain point. And, um, you know, I think that guys understand that. And I think ultimately, like, that's what it's going to take. You know what I mean? I think when the focus is on the work and not so much the outside of, you know, like individual accolades or whatever, like, that stuff, are, that stuff is going to come. Like, when you focus on the team, when you focus on being your best, like, that stuff is automatically going to come. And, Speaking on previous situations, like you mentioned, uh, like that's what the focus was on. And, you know, it's not really even looking at those situations because I'm focused on what we have here now. And, you know, giving that feeling to everyone around so they can see what it feels like. And, you know, we felt that a little bit last year. You know, I think people around felt that. And I think that's what excitement going into this year. But, you know, I think that's what the main focus is, man. Just work, focus on, you know, how can I get better today? And, like, if everybody's mindset is like that, we'll be sitting where we want to sit at. TJ, we heard from polls talking about going around the city or the area in the summer, just hearing and feeling the excitement about this team. Any stories from your end about getting out this summer, just encountering Bears fans and feeling the the energy around this team? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm from here, so just about everyone on my phone is a Bears fan. <laughs> but uh, no, I've gotten just just all the support and all the all the love. I, I feel you know just just about every day. You know, starting camp, you get five six text messages just saying good luck with camp and all that. But um, no, nah, I mean, you know, just going around the golf courses and, you know, talking, checking in when you get to the pro shop. They're always, you know, getting excited, asking questions, trying to get insight on, on everything. But um, <laughs> that's that's Chicago. So that's that's why you love it. There was a lot of hype going into that Green Bay game last year. And then, of course, the letdown. And I know in the week after that, there was from coaches and players, the hindsight mindset of well, maybe if we would have done this a little differently in training camp or the preseason, it wouldn't have the outcome wouldn't have been like that. Did, were there lessons that you learned from training camp last year? that you'll take into this year to make sure that situation doesn't repeat itself? Um, I mean, I feel like every year, right, you try to, especially, you know, when you don't get to that that top of the mountain, you know, you try to go back and, and look at, you know, what you could what you could change or what um, maybe we could tweak here and there and things like that. And I feel like we're always just constantly evolving, trying to get better. Um, so there's always going to be something, right? There's always a, a what if and, and things like that. But I think at the end of the day, what we do here well is, is work. Like there's no, there's like I've, you know, obviously been in, in Philly and been in here, but, you know, here it's, you know, you, you come in and you, you get ready to work, and, and that's what coach expects. That's what the players expect. And um, so it's something you want to be a part of. But I feel like camp is, is a grind for a reason. You know, it's a it's an early look at adversity for this year's team. And, um, you know, we get to see how we kind of learn from what happened last year and, and learn how we can, you know, stay healthier and do those things and um, come out, you know, firing week one for sure. CJ, at the end of last year, y'all – the two of y'all, y'all chemistry was really, really good. Y'all make plays like mm-hmm. You make a big hit, you get a pick. A lot of plays like that. What do y'all think y'all can improve from in terms of just how y'all play off each other? What, what areas are y'all like specifically kind of even, even with yourself a little bit more chemistry? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, Manny and I, we talk a lot, but I think even just, just last year, I think for us, we want to just start, you know, start hot. I felt like, you know, we both agree that we kind of got off to a slower start and we just want to hit the ground running. You know, football is such a is such a humbling game, right, because every play you need to be on your P's and Q's. And, um, but I think with us, we, we see the game the same way. You know, we see how it's how it's supposed to look. We know when it's when it's not. There's plenty of times that, you know, at practice and things like that when Manny's looking at me like, it's time to go, you know, and, and I'm looking at him the same way. And, um but I think for us, we want to continue to obviously just be in the center of the defense. You know, the communication is, is key at our position. But, um, you know, takeaways change games for sure. So being being around the ball as much as we can and starting to do that um, early on for sure. I mean, there, there, seemed, there seemed to be a consensus that the defense had a breakthrough down the second half of last season. What do you think was achieved by your group 
down the stretch of last season that can carry forward here into 2024? You know, I think it starts with a belief. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's a simple answer, but at the end of the day, it's a belief, a belief that, you know, we can be as good as we, you know, say we could be. And, uh, you know, I think that we've shown that. And, you know, I think that was an accomplishment, man, because, you know, obviously when you bring in new pieces, it's, you know, you have that, that question, you know, how good can we really be? But, you know, obviously when you show a glimpse of it, you know, you, you show, you know, what you can truly do. You have different guys making plays. And, uh, you know, I think I always think, man, a good team, like it's no just one, one or two players. Like we had multiple people, you know, making plays day in and day out and, you know, week in and week out. And, you know, that's what you want. And uh, like I said, man, just when we hold each other accountable, like I think everybody came into the meeting rooms, you know, with just pure humility, you know what I mean? Like if it was something that needed to be corrected, you know what, I get that corrected. You know, we can go to each other as men and talk as men because at the end of the day, we all want the best for each other. And, you know, if I want for, you know, my teammates, what I want for myself, you know, we'll be sitting at a good spot. So, you know, I think that's the mindset in our locker room. That's the mindset on our side of the ball. And, you know, we have great leaders, man. And now it's just time to lead out front and, uh, you know, just show everybody else what we already know. DJ called you guys a top five defense. Do you guys view yourselves in that, that same light right now? 100%. No doubt. 